So I feel like ever since I got home, I've been wild. And we all wanted to see the Kiko Milano stuff. So let's use some of that. And we'll use a little bit more, <laughs> I don't know. I hate putting labels on things. We just won't use blue. <laughs> I don't wanna say more wearable because anything to me is wearable and I just don't like putting labels on things. We don't like that. Don't label anybody, let's just have fun. So let's put on some eyeshadow base. I'm gonna use my one here from Milk. Let's smoosh this all over. <laughs> And notice that I did, this is kind of important, notice that I did one dip for each eye. But what's even more important is this being very even across the lid. So we'll grab a C31 and we're gonna tap. And the reason we're gonna tap is it's gonna make sure that it's spread across the lid evenly because we could have patchiness, some kind of weird streaking. We especially wanna do this because it's clear and we can't see where it is. So I suggest starting at the lash line and then just going back and forth all the way up till you reach the brow bone. I don't want y'all to get this and not be able to um, experience it to its fullest because clear base is really easy to kind of not remember or see to blend. Oh, and the earrings that I was just putting on, these are from the Sparkle NYC. I love her stuff. That's where I have, that's where all of those super sparkly headbands are from. So I think we'll go a little bit more neutral, not too cool, not too warm. This is shade 27 and this is their high pigment eyeshadow. Oh, 27. Oh, this is fun. Let me do it in the next slide. I wanna tell you though, it's about the brushes and why they have their numbers. Oh, hello, that's nice and pigmented. That's so pretty. And then we'll just take that all the way over here. A little bit goes a long way. I think already we would think this looks terrible. And the reason why is because we see this already creeping onto our lid and it looks horrifying already. You just really have to learn how to see past that. What I already see is beautiful velvety eyeshadow. What I was gonna tell you about the number 27 is I started with the number 27 on the brushes. So we started with this brush. This was the first one I was like, immediately we have to have this brush in the collection. And I'm looking for Sheila to wipe it off. Um, that was my daddy's race car number. My father passed away in 2014 and I just wanted to have him included in some way. So the E27 is the first brush and it's the first one that I named. So E obviously stands for eyes, but 27 is just the number I wanted to start with. You know, I don't really share a whole lot about my life because I feel like the moment I do, it would just turn into a lifestyle page and lifestyle isn't my passion. It's not that I don't enjoy it. I love looking into others' lives, but it's not my passion. So that's why, if you've ever wondered why I don't really talk about a lot about my life, it's because makeup is just my passion. I just wanna focus on makeup and helping you. Then we're gonna grab, this is gonna be the same formula. Um, but this is shade 30. I'm going to do two or three. I did three taps into there, into the pan, and I'm just going to smooth this out. Smooth out the top part. Just using the side of my brush. Remember, this all gets cleaned up. We're going to act like that's not even a big deal. Ooh, that's pretty together. All right, we're going to take our E28, and we're just going to... Yep. I feel that... Whenever we add water into the mix, pun intended, <laughs> it can be a little intimidating. And also it's hard to get water. We're, when we're at our vanity, maybe we do it at the sink, but this is just so much easier. That is so pretty. Love this color. And then after 27, my mom raced two. Um, then I wanted to do 28 and that was her number. So these were my first two brushes started with this one, which is my dad's race car number. And then my mom's, which was 28. So 27 and 28. So we know that we can use these wet, these are wet shadows, but I have an idea. I just want to use my tacky base, but I'm going to apply it on my hand so I don't get it on that applicator. Now I need my C30 here. I'm going to take half of that 
and I'm just going to put this all over the lid. I'm not carving, I'm not doing anything. I'm just making sure this is really tacky. I feel like it's gonna give the same effect since it's very wet. Um, it'll give the same exact effect as water, maybe even more intense. Let's just do this. I feel like this is so much easier than wetting the eyeshadow itself. Okay, again, no precision, just making sure it's even across the lid. Now I'm gonna grab an E28. Load up that brush, okay? Lots of product here. We want a lot, Ooh. Again, if you already, if you have easy access to water, use water, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying you need the base, I'm just saying that they're very similar since I just wanted to use the base and didn't wanna deal with the water. Just an experiment, use water, it's free. <laughs> so let's just do an experiment, okay? Let's do it with water. I always have my little straw here with ready to go. Okay, it's gonna dry instantly once you get it on there. Okay, it's on my finger. Okay, let's do it that way. Beautiful, love, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Um, again, there's no right or wrong. I'm not doing that. I'm just, we're just doing a nice little experiment. Okay, let's get our eyeshadow base there. There we go. And then let's just do it without anything. Okay, we'll do that over here. Okay, definitely more intense with the water. Now I'm gonna wipe my finger off and then let's just go in and then see if it just even remotely looks similar on top of the base. Yep. Yeah, the, the base is just easier. It's just so much easier. There's still more on my finger here that we can even work in there. Yep. Just using the base instead is just less of a hassle than mixing up stuff over there with water for me. Y'all might like a nice little science project. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love this color. Love, 10 out of 10, would recommend. So pretty. So I already feel like this makeup would be such good wedding guest makeup. I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So this is exactly what I would do as a wedding guest. Now let's use this Kiko Milano liner. I'm not gonna do a wing liner, but I do wanna darken my lash line and I also just wanna use something brown, making sure I'm really getting close to the roots of the lash. Jean Jean having a little nap. So was Doug Bug. We actually went to a pumpkin patch, time of my life, and we got two really big, chunky pumpkins. They're jean chunky. <laughs> By the way, I can say that this lasts. When I was there, um, I, a makeup artist did my makeup for one of the events we went to with Kiko Milano. And she used this, but in the black, same formula. It lasted till 3 a.m. By the way, I never stay up that late. But we were having so much fun together. And then we went out to eat afterwards and everything stays so open in Milan. And so op open so late in Milan and we were having so much fun. Um, so this definitely lasted. So thank you to the moon and back for this. This means so much to me. <sighs> if you like sweet, you're gonna love it. And then they sent me this. I think this is their newest one. So this is the Apple Love. I'm definitely getting, I'm getting the most sophisticated Apple. I wanna go find the notes cause I don't have the description for this one. So let me go find you the notes. This is also one, I wanna mix it with the, Oh, it's so good. So here's this one. It's just so sweet, but not that overwhelming sweet. And the way that it dries down, I love. I love it. Y'all couldn't have sent me better since. And then they also sent me this body oil, which I'll go get the screenshot for that one. But this one that I'm showing you is the Apple Love. And I think the bottles are so pretty too. I, I just love seeing them. This just makes me so happy. And I'm really grateful. Oh, I was going to show y'all when I first sat down. Remember how I mentioned that the bee perfume from Ellis Brooklyn was one of my favorite things in the whole wide world? Well, they sent me a big, huge one. Who am I? I am so honored. I had it right here. I was so excited to show y'all. I'm so excited. Look, at, It's like the size of my head. And they also sent me two other things I want to show you, but 
I, this is one of my all time favorite scents. So it does smell like honey. You have to like the smell of honey and it smells very sweet. It's definitely a gourmand. Um, I'm trying to see what the other notes are in it. I'm, I'm, I'm not as versed in perfume, but I, um, let me look here. Let me go find you. Let me just go screenshot. Oh, here it is. So the top notes are dark rum and Devana, honey, bran absolute and cinnamon. Oh my gosh. Sandalwood, vanilla bean and cocoa, uh, cacao absolute. It's so this is a scent that they have in the parfum style, just like this, but this is the body oil. And I have that on from about here to here and the scent is just lasting. I just imagine layering it with actual myth or I wanna try layering it with another one. I love layering by the way. So I just wanna show you that I got so excited. There was a happy dance. And if y'all have tried this brand, y'all know. And if you haven't, um, just go give that a little whiff. These are at Sephora. I've purchased this one, not this big one, but I purchased a smaller one myself and I, it's, I carry it with me. If I go on a trip or something, that's the one that's with me. All right, let's keep trucking here. I'm just gonna throw on mascara, um, any mascara, because I'm gonna put on falsies. I'm trying to find where I put the ones I had yesterday. It's been a whirlwind since I got back, an absolute whirlwind. And I haven't really even sat down and thought about me being back. I just went in here and just started filming like a maniac. So I'm kind of, I think I might just take tomorrow and just recollect my thoughts. <laughs> so the last time I was traveling, I put this last pair of moonlights in a little empty soap box. And then I remembered I had it because this is my last pair. So these were stowed away safely from me. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to go purchase more of these. I'm literally going after this because I want to tell you that these have been my favorite lashes in the entire world out of all of the other lashes because this lash band is just too daggum good. I cannot fill these on my lid whatsoever. And I just feel like they're going to be so pretty on, on almost all eye shapes. And I just love everything about them. And I'm going to go buy more. So y'all better not sell them out. <laughs> Hot. I have the window open. Listen, where I live, we don't get fall. Mm -mm. We get like a, a finter, which is like a fall winter in January and early February. Mm -hmm. Right now, well, earlier today, when I went to the pumpkin patch, it was 96 degrees and just, just endless humidity. And I just had to go turn my AC down because I'm, I'm cooking here in front of this window. So we're going to do that foundation and concealer two in one. <laughs> there we go. That I showed y'all yesterday where the match was so nice. And remember, we're matching down here. It's also going to look a lot more warm because my cheeks are very, very red right now. But once we blend it, woo, okay, this stuff is incredible. I hope it wears nicely. I know it will. I can tell by how it feels going onto my skin. Very thin, super pigmented. That looks like skin. I'm so excited for this. I am just so excited. We, we don't have to live like that. <laughs> wow, let's just do one side of my face and look at it. I love that it's a doe foot applicator too. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use it as concealer as well. I feel like it'll be a good shade for that. Let's grab our C31. This feels so lightweight. I, I'm so excited. I hope that this one is sold at Ulta or Amazon. I, I just know y'all are gonna love this. This just looks so good. All right, so here's our side that has the foundation and then 
here's without. This is probably one of the lightest weight full coverage foundations I've ever felt on my face. So we're on to something here. I'm excited. If this wears well, this is gonna be my new favorite. Just watch it melt in. <laughs> I mean, C42, C42 ing too. Woo, that is gorgeous. I'm excited. So I actually don't have a Kiko Milano powder. I will get us one, but I'm just gonna use my one size today. I'm gonna use my ultra pink. Okay, even that out on my puff. There we go. Set that foundation situation. Dang, it sets so nicely. I am really excited for this, for the foundation. I'm just so excited. I love this powder too, but I'm really excited for the foundation as well. There we go. Got that Rose and Bam Beauty V setting puff. Not just any setting puff. The setting all this makeup around me, and I've done such a good job of making sure I'm not applying the wrong shade highlighter, I can't find one. Um, I do have videos on it. I don't know how I don't even have an eyeshadow that would be similar. Everything is out of control. I've gotta have one. No, that's a bronzer. Well, one thing about me is that we know we're doing the right things over here. <laughs> do you know what I'm gonna apply? I'm too wild, I'm too wild. We're gonna apply some highlighter. We might have some new friends here, so I don't want them to not know. So if I'm repetitive, I'm sorry. But we're gonna take this highlighter, and before I put it on my face, I wanna make sure it's the right shade for me, so I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. And as long as that disappears, see how you can't see it? Obviously, you see the sparkle, that's fine. But you don't see the product. There's not a shadow. You can see my vein perfectly. You can completely see through it. That's how I know it's the perfect shade for me. Um, let me see if I have a darker one just to give you a comparison. By the way, I did go ahead now and I'm just gonna lightly set my face with a little bit of the pink powder and then we're gonna move on to bronzer. I'll do a demo. I'm actually a little bit in a hurry. My hurries are different than some hurries. Um, but I did wanna get down and put on my baked potatoes. So I'm gonna grab this right here. I've already tagged it. And let's go ahead and do this first. Wow, that's really nice. I've missed highlighter. And I'm doing it with a smaller brush because I want to concentrate it mostly here and I don't want it to creep up too high because then it's just not going to look nice um, once it creeps up this way towards the under eye. So I want to keep it pretty contained. This is gorgeous. This is a 10 out of a 10, would recommend. Beautiful, let's put some on our brow bone too. Should we? We should. Fun! So I'm gonna have to shut my window and use my artificial light. And the reason why is because my iPhone is overheating. So put that apple, it is not overheated. Mind you, this is the 14 Pro Max. Um, it's not like, it's an older phone. We talked about this the other day. We swear that the moment they drop, and I say we because a lot of you were agreeing with me. It's my wine conspiracy theory. Let me have it. Once they drop that new phone, our iPhones just go into chaos. My color temperature right now is chaos. My phone is overheating. Conspiracy. You know what? I do want to talk really quickly about, I, I honestly sometimes even feel bad for saying that um, I want to upgrade and get a new phone for many moons before I started this and before my phone became my absolute camera. So everything you see, I film with my phone. Um, before that, I'd, I think I had the same phone for three or four years. I, I don't want you to feel that you need it to kind of keep up and um, unless, I mean, if you want it, we love that, but I just don't want you to feel me talking about it gives you any kind of pressure to need a new phone. I only get the new phone because again, this is what I do. I do this every single day. I film with my phone. My phone is my work. So get your phone if you want it, but don't feel any pressure from me.
this is what I was super excited about. So this is their bronzer. Um, this is the Create Your Balance Color Boost Face Bronzer 02. And we're going to apply this next. And the reason I like to do my highlighter first is I feel that you're really able to see the highest point of the cheekbone. Whoa, that is smooth and pigmented and beautiful. Wow, I really love it. And, and I just find that it's a lot easier. And even your highlighter doesn't muddy on top of your blush and on top of your bronzer when you do the highlighter first. So that's the situation there. I love bronzer. I love makeup. And then let's just keep that flow going here. Love. All right, let's put on this lipstick. Ooh, so velvety. I should have got more of this formula. Look how pretty that is too. Okay, now it won't focus. I give up, I give up. I give up iPhone, you win. <laughs> now let's grab our base again. And I don't have anything under here, so I can just do a light tap. Wonderful, wonderful. Smooth that out a little bit. Where did that go? There it is. Grab our C31, just tap back and forth, make sure it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna grab our E27, back into our first shade, number 27. E27 with shade 27 and press that under here. We won't have fallout and it won't fluff into my contacts and it'll be really nicely pigmented. And then I got the matching lip liner. It's the same thing, Create Your Balance, the Precision Boost Lip Liner, and then the shade is 01. So it's the same exact thing as the lipstick, just the lip liner. And I feel like it's just a touch darker and a touch cooler, which I like, than the lipstick. It's a good makeup day. It's, it is going to be just so glamorous, taking the olive oil and putting it on the potato and wrapping it in the aluminum, okay? It's, it's a glamorous evening. So I love the lip on its own, but I just wanna see what this is gonna look like on top. Do you see these sparkles? Do you see this? Eh. Eh. And it's actually pretty sheer. So I just wanna see what this is gonna look like on top. Bring a, a little bit of life to it. I love it. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. we probably wouldn't have gravitated towards this color because it looks super spicy. Um, oh, I love. Definitely going to save this. I feel like this is truly the perfect wedding guest makeup. It's perfect. In fact, do y'all want to invite me to your wedding? <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna be posting tonight. I'm posting an ad, it's gonna be helpful. You're still gonna learn something. Um, I always make sure that when I'm doing an ad, you're gonna learn something because it's not just like I don't do the first impressions with ads that's of course I'm gonna like it it's an ad um, so what I like to do is show you how to use the product the best ways to use it um, and just overall just being helpful it's what I do I'm actually really excited to post it because it's gonna be really really fun all right I love you in case nobody has told you today I love you so much and I will see you in the comments tonight